Hey everyone, Irix Guy here. I uh, just wanted to do a follow-up video to the Apple Compressor 4.0.5 cluster not working fix video that I posted. And I've included a, uh, a link to my previous video within this video's description. But upon further investigation, I found that uh, you know the procedure that I outlined within that previous video was exporting it so instead of doing file, share, uh, I'm sorry, instead of doing file, send to compressor, like one might think that you would do to send it to compressor so you could then uh, compress the video to whatever uh, compression within compressor, but that's not the case because if you do that, it will just uh, and only allow you to select this computer within uh, compressor, which is not the cluster. So in my previous video, I said share, and then I said HD 1080p. Actually, that's not what you'll want to do because that's uh, that's actually using compression. So if you want to use your if you want to utilize your cluster to compress your uh, your video project, what you'll want to do first in Final Cut Pro 10 is do share master file because that's going to be the most quick. It's just going to export a raw file of your video project. So export that and then drag that file into compressor and you should be able to select your cluster within compressor. But don't do what I said previously because that's taking more time. It's actually compressing it. Whereas share master file, that'll just export the raw video file that can then be manually dragged into compressor and compressed with whatever video settings you prefer. I hope this tip helps and uh, feel free to share this uh, this video with others. Y'all have a good day.